Hi, if anybody's watching this uh, replay, uh, this is Listed or Ditch It. I'm just waiting for people to come into the show. Um, so I'm just getting set up here real quick. Thanks for coming in. <clears throat> I just have to grab one more thing and then I'll be ready. I wanted to I wanted to share the link on Facebook too real quick. I don't know how to do it. Um I don't know how to do it from uh, from my phone once I'm already in because it like it um I'm gonna log into my Facebook here um it'll like stop the feed if I go on my phone to try to share the link so. Um, I can only share it on my Facebook and I want to share it on, on another Facebook too. So let me just do that real quick here. <clears throat> Maybe if I can find it, there we go. All right, so copy link. Sorry guys, um, I had to go live because like I said, I didn't know how to do it any other way. So I'm going to put this on Reseller Squad. One of these weeks I'll have this, uh, I'll have this all streamlined. <laughs> um... And I should put it in Alabama Pickers. Dusty said I can put it in there too. All right. I haven't ever asked anybody else if I can put it in their channels or Facebook's pages. So, um, so it's not like nobody's told me I can do it. I just never asked. Those people just offered it to me so okay all right we already have 12 people that's great i just got to grab one more box and we'll be ready <clears throat> i was in a hangout with some friends and over on chick picker's channel and Okay. So by now there should be enough people in here to start the show. Yeah, we got 16 people. Great. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Um, hopefully some people have some wrenches so they can keep an eye on the chat. I, I made a whole bunch of people... Uh, moderators like 13 people or whatever uh, they were it was kind of just random I don't want anybody to feel bad if they're not a moderator because that's not what was my intention my intention was just to get a bunch of people because because this is at seven o'clock at night <laughs> And there's a lot of people who, especially right now, because it's the school year, they can't be here all the time. So my intention on having so many moderators was um, nobody had to feel obligated to be here every show. So, um, <laughs> 
Sorry, Mr. Sadie. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I was in Chick Picker's show the next day of the, um, the Picker Daily Hustle. I'm on that every morning. And the people that were in the chat pretty much got picked. So, And they're all my friends. So, I mean, it's not like I just randomly pick people. But anyways, all right. So should we get this on the road? So um, oh, I just lifted that box. I'm out of breath. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so I have a box of knickknacks and glassware and stuff like that. And I also have some clothes I'm going to show. Um, poor at Megan Carl. What does that mean? Oh, she doesn't have her wrench. I thought I, I'm sorry, Megan. I thought you did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, anyways, um, you probably will <laughs> eventually. Oh, 23 people already. Thank you. So Sassy Seller, she was, um, I was talking to her. And she thought I should, because I have a big bag of clothes. I went, um, Goodwill Outlets are like down by the Twin Cities. And um, I'm up by Duluth, Minnesota. So it's about two and a half hours away from me. So I don't go very often. And I think I went, uh, I, I want to say it was in the spring. was the last time I went to a, a Goodwill Outlet because we were down there for something. And, um, <clears throat> so anyways, I got a, a big Ikea bag full of clothes and I, and she told me I should have them on list or ditch it tonight. Well, I don't want to bore my non-clothing sellers. So I only took a few things out of there and I'll try to maybe every, every show or every other show or, well, I'm hoping to have guests here soon, but, um, but we'll get some clothing in here too. So, um, because clothing sellers matter too, right? <laughs> um, keep the Carhartt hoodie. I love this. I love this hoodie. <laughs> I have two of them. I love them. <laughs> this one's one of those those Rain Defender ones. And so it, it keeps me dry too. All right. So let's get it going here. I have, uh, since we're talking about clothing, we might as well start with clothing, right? So this is my Christmas party sweater. And I got this at the bins a long time ago. And it's got a big teddy bear on it. I don't know if my, my camera's okay the way it is here. There we go. How's that? So I have, um, and hi everybody. Thank you for coming in. I have 28 people already. 10 likes. Thank you. List it. 25 plus shipping. Really? Wow. Look at all this money I've been holding on to. All right, we're going to list it. Now I'm going <laughs> to, I only have a mannequin, so, <laughs> but he's pretty feminine. He's tried on bras and everything before. So. <laughs> all right, so um, these, these, <laughs> these pants, the only reason why I got them was because they reminded me of the pants my mom used to wear. These are those old slacks that have like the, um, the seam you know these are them them old slacks like um women used yeah polyester women used to wear them like god my mom used to wear them when I was a kid so it was like the 80s because I was a little girl in the 80s so yeah that's that's why I bought these I thought they were cool and my mom my mom has passed away I was I wish she was around so I could have showed them she probably would have took them um these are, uh, I think they're polyester. Yeah, 100% polyester made in Taiwan. They're called Only Necessities. And their size, size says Joe Petite. I don't know what that means. Ditch, should I ditch them? Nobody will buy them. Are the double knit reversible slacks? No, I don't think they're reversible, but. <laughs> All right, I'll ditch them. I thought they were funny. I don't know. Okay, um, here's a pair of, and just so you guys know, you may get 15-ish with shipping. Really? Well, that'd be worth it, because I got them at the bin, so I got them for less than a buck. So maybe I'll put them, Joe is big petite. What was that noise? 
If I see a mouse, guys, I am going to freak. <laughs> Don't start praying for a mouse either. <laughs> Honestly, I would have probably would have listed them. All right, I'll put them in the list pile then. Okay. All right, so I got these jeans. They, uh... Oh, is Dusty in here? Put them on. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did just sell some granny pants. Yep, about 12-ish to 15-ish. All right, I'll throw them up then. See if we can... Uh, <laughs> it's in the naked show again. Um, so these are Lee jeans. I guess... Uh, These are like older jeans. They're not. They're the Lee. Lee jeans. These size. These are biggins. Uh, let's see. 26 W M. Mom jeans. Yeah. So. That was that. What was that noise behind you? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Sadie. <laughs> And they're in really good shape, you know. They don't have, they're not, uh, list, 25 including shipping. Okay. Sassy, are you making a list for me so you can send it to me later? <laughs> so I don't forget. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a, they sell fantastic for me. I've gotten up to $60 for some crazy looking ones. Really? Wow. All right. Guess maybe I sh I guess maybe I know more about clothing than I thought I did, right? <laughs> Here is I just thought it was neat. It just reminded me of just old um just reminded me like the the older movies where the guy was always in one of these sweaters. And I'm kind of nostalgic. List that right now. It's gorgeous. I know, isn't it neat? I thought it was cool. It's not a real thick sweater, but it's Christmas party sweater, too extra large. List ugly sweater, yeah. Office party special. Okay. All right. So I will list that one. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of knew about the ugly sweater thing um, from, uh, what's her face, uh, um, paper, paper, paper castle. She hasn't been on for a while, so I was kind of miss, lost her name there for a minute. Um, all right, so here's this white sweater hoodie. This is the only time a hoodie is called a sweater, people. Sally, if you're watching this or watching this later, this is the only, <coughs> this is the only, hoodie that you could call a sweater <laughs> um this one is uh medium it looks really small but it's it's really pretty and it's a uh, um would that be a swooty <laughs> maybe <laughs> a lot of people call hoodies sweaters and they're not sweaters <laughs> there we go it zips up ten dollars it's really pretty all right, so ten dollars—that's good enough for me. I mean, what do we pay for stuff at the at the outlet? Um, it was like I got enough that day. It was like ninety-nine cents a pound, I think it was. So um, it's uh, C A B I Cabby. It is very cute. As much as I know about clothing, I list it. Oh, twenty dollars. All right, cool. All right, that's worth listing. Okie doke, on to the next one. Now, this was spring when I got all those clothes, so I might have some kind of summery stuff. Um, this is like a dress. Really nice. It's like a... Um, pick something ugly, Nikki, so we can yell ditch it. <laughs> um, this is like one of those um, cover-up dresses, you know, for the beach. Yeah. That's what it is. See, it's like this. Um, it's uh, one size 
and uh, Mr. Bruno, no, Mr. Bunho, Buho, B-U-H-O, Buho, list it, it will go, this, this thing, okay, all right, I don't even know what you call it, a, a, a wrap, Mr., <laughs> it's not Mr. Bunho, <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. B <laughs> it's Mr. B B B U H O. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank God I don't have too many clothes here. <laughs> this is a setup. She has all good stuff. <laughs> Okay, here's into something. This is probably not good. It's a scarf. It's um, pretty ugly. It's uh, not even sure why I got it. Made in made in India. Well, it's 100% wool. I guess it's not as wool. Is this wool? This don't feel like wool, guys. I don't know. It says 100% wool. Huh. It is pretty ugly. It's the bunghole scarf. <laughs> it may be worsted. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's really pretty. Or, it's actually pretty ugly, but it's, um, it's very... So, should I list it? It's pretty. I'd list it. Looks like a Badoosh, babushka lady scarf. <laughs> it's really long, too pretty long so I'll list it all right table runner no it's not a table runner it's got fringes on it maybe it's not a scarf I don't see that's that's the thing I'm not a clothing seller but I wouldn't put it on my t well I wouldn't put it on my body either but maybe you're right maybe it is a could it be a table runner maybe you're right maybe that's what it is it's long it covers your bunghole <laughs> <laughs> yes, tapestry looks like. Oh yeah. Oh Pashima. What what does Pashi Pashmina mean? What's a Pashmina? Pashmina? It would clash with the beard. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> I don't think anything will look good with the beard. <laughs> oh I got thirty people. Hi everybody. It's an Indian type of scarf wrap. Okay, so um, later on when we're in a hangout, you guys can remind me of that word, okay? <laughs> Pashina. <laughs> okay, so I've got some more clothing, but I'm going to switch over to some other stuff real quick because I don't want to wrap around your head like a turban. <laughs> that would work. <laughs> Let's see if it's big enough. <laughs> I don't know how to do a turban other than... Other than, uh, I can't believe I'm putting thrift store stuff on my head. Well, it's been, it's been here long enough, so it's, it probably doesn't have any bugs or anything in it. <laughs> if you don't see me tomorrow or I'm scratching my head really bad, you'll know not to put thrift store stuff on your head. There you go. How's that? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, let's see. Here is going with the Christmas theme. People are going to think I'm on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, brand new. Oh, almost lost the little guy that goes with it. It's a, uh, um, gosh, I'm running out of places to set stuff. This says, uh, it's made in Taiwan, 1981, Rex and Lee. But it's, it's a little, it's a little house. I'm making you into a meme as we speak. <laughs> and, and it's got this little people with it. And it's brand new. And like I said, it's 19... 19, oh, 1991, Rex and Lee. But it is Taiwan. Ditch it? All right. I'll probably just keep it for my own collection. So, 
sell it at a lot with the bungle scarf. <laughs> All right, so I guess I don't need to put it back in the box if I'm ditching it, right? Okay. All right, I'm going to take the scarf off because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I don't know how those people... How those people do it, wear scarves all the time on their head. I guess they're used to it because they do it their whole lives. Here's a, a jug. Now, I in the past, I've always done, what brand was the H-Pews? What's that? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, anyways, here is, I've always done well with cobalt blue stuff and this is glassware. So it's not marked, of course, like when is glass wherever marked, um, <clears throat> secret sand of the house. Yeah. And it's, I think it's a neat jug, you know, it's got the two handles. It's kind of got this weird. <laughs> They're a movable pipe. I know, it looks like... <laughs> like I would know what one looks like. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. <laughs> looks like a bong. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't list this. <laughs> People are going to think I'm a drug dealer. Yep, some pothead may like it. Looks like a bong. The house is a Christmas village. Well, it, go, it probably goes with a Christmas village, but... I'm going to make sure Nikki gets FMP's name in the Secret Santa. <laughs> Here's Nikki on her show wearing a turban and blowing into a pipe. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it? No, it's not marked at all. It's, uh, no. There's no marking. It's actually got, like, on the bottom. Must be where they they blow it. Blowed it? <laughs> where they blew it? Because um, it's got, like, a little mark there. Imperfection. But it doesn't go through. It doesn't look like. I say ditch. I don't know classware though. Okay. Anyways, I don't know. I. What do you guys think? Looks like TJ Maxx tag or Home Goods tag was there, too. Yeah, maybe hand blowing a cobalt blue cells. Yeah. So maybe I'll try it. I haven't tried it yet on the listings. So maybe I'll try it. I'll put it up here with my list stuff. All right, I bought this for myself because if anybody knows me, I have a fascination with, um, this is why I bought the whole box was for this. It's Lee Max 1995 and I just want to show it to you because I have a fascination with big red barns. I love barns. So I got this for my house and I love it. Isn't it cute? How it's got the silos. And I love a big bar. <laughs> nice. And it's got a little hole in it. I don't know what that's for, but... Oh, maybe you can light it up or something. But anyways, yeah, that was... That's for me to keep. So, we're not ditching that. That's going in my house. <clears throat> okay, I just wanted to show it to you because I thought it was cute. So, I got a bunch of these. These are... Well, I didn't get a bunch of these. I got two of these. Um, it's for hamsters, the pipe hole. <laughs> Anyways, I got a um, couple of these. They're red, obviously, ruby. Um, and they're, um, no, no markings, of course. Glassware never... Has, and there goes the show, yeah, always. <laughs> um, do you think these sell? Ditch, ditch, ditch. There's no brand. Have no clue. Ditch. All right. Okay. I thought they were pretty, but that's okay. Maybe I could put them in the... What are you doing back there, Lugnut? He's like way back behind my boxes back there. What a ding-dong. All right, so I'll get rid of those. I'll throw them in the 
ditch pile. Here's the ditch box right here. All right. So I imagine I'll ditch these two. These ones are red. Obviously, no. They got kind of a neat bottom. You know, I used to sell this stuff, and they got that neat look on them, like they're wet. Put them and the blue bong together. Nice red, white, and blue theme, yeah. Ditch, okay. You know, I used to sell this stuff like crazy. Glassware, years ago, I all glassware sold. It didn't matter what brand it was, if it was pretty or neat looking, it would sell. Um, and then I got away from glassware because I, I got tired of shipping it. And then, um, when I tried to get back into glassware, nobody wanted this stuff. All right. So I'll ditch the glassware. This here is a, looks like a can opener. I never seen one like this before. It's got like a it's got like a bottle opener and then the can opener on this side. I know there was such a good market. Even even as soon as like like three years, three, four years ago, I used to sell it like crazy. Yeah, can opener, double duty, bong opener. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a nice can opener if I could figure out how to use it. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, so, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Wizard of Oz. This is cute. A bung opener. <laughs> it's a wrench. Can I have it? <laughs> Poor Megan. I'm so sorry. I told you she had a wrench and she doesn't. <laughs> You meant to have a wrench. I was going to give you one. <laughs> All right. Um, you were on my list. <laughs> okay. With that pointy end, you can hit the zombie in the head. There you go. You can save it for the zombie apocalypse. Anyways, um, it was a wrench. No, a wrench. <laughs> this is Dorothy and Toto tea, teapot. Um, it says exclusively, designed exclusively for the Warner Brothers Studio, made in China, 1998. Judy Garland as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And it's, see the top? It's got Dorothy and Toto. List it. List it. List it. All right, I'll list it. <laughs> okay. Teapots are usually pretty good anyways. A lot of people, a lot of people like like teapots. I've sold a lot of teapots in my time. I can't figure out to get how to get the damn cover back on. There we go. Alright, I'll put that up there with list. Um well this looks like carnival glass. We got two of them. Yeah, I break it out to worry about. I know. Grunt, grunt, bunghole, grunt, grunt, ditch it. Yeah, carnival glass ain't any good anymore. Not as not as good as it used to be. Tons of wool collectors. I'm not sure how eBay does, but the local shop down the street can't keep it in stock. Yeah, I know if um no, it's not marked. Um, locally, I could probably sell this. Carnival glass sells pretty good. So maybe I'll just sell it locally. So I'll put it up here. Because I probably can sell it at the auction. Alright. Fitz and Floyd. Fitz and Floyd usually does pretty well. Um. It's this. I'm not going to take it out of the box. Fitz and Floyd musicals. 
Yeah, I'll probably just throw it at the flea market or something or auction. Don't even open, just list it. Yep, fits and flight is a is usually a a list it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, so I've got a whole bunch of this. Uh, well, you know, this is that Rev Rex and Lee stuff. I want to look up Rex and Lee real quick. Or have you guys been looking it up? I just want to see. I've never heard of Rex and Lee before, so I just wanted to look and see what it does, if it does anything. Um, Rex and Lee Christmas. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's all unsold stuff. Now, um, not always can you go by that because like this stuff is Christmas stuff. So, um, I mean, nothing is sold except for one Christmas tree. Um, but I have a church and I have a house, some kind of house here. And then that other little thing that I showed you earlier and it's, um, it's all Christmas stuff for like a, to make a Christmas village out of. Um, but it is Taiwan stuff, so it probably won't sell for much. <coughs> I'll probably just ditch it. Here's another, uh, this is, um, pound, no, pound, <laughs> Rondo. Rondo, 1983, it's like a pitcher, um, looks like, looks like crap, looks like it's going to do crappy, see it's a Rondo, a Rondo pitcher, it's like the stoneware <coughs> teapot. It's actually kind of cute, but maybe I'll... Why do you have all these teapots? Because they came in a box at the... At the honestly, the these, this is Japan, too. Um, honestly, this box, the reason why I bought that box was for the Fitz and Floyd and the barn. Because I wanted the barn for me, is why. Ditch or local? Yeah. It is cute, though. Maybe I'll keep it and put it on top of my cupboard. It's kind of got the country look to it. All right, so now we're going to go back to clothes. Smoke the pot and ditch the yellow things. <laughs> yeah, you can put your weed in there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. This is a... Uh, this is a dress. All right, thank you, Mr. Sadie. He said seven fifty, none sold. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of those um, dresses. Um, put your weed in. <laughs> that was actually it was that SNL or it was Adam Sandler, but it was in a movie. What was that movie? Um, he was in a. Um, he was in a store and he had dreadlocks and everything and he kept telling everybody you can put your weed in there we always always say that stuff it's funny all right so this dress it's one of these armless dresses sleeveless i guess you'd call it it's uh collectibles casual corner size 10 <laughs> it's a dress. 
It zips in the back. No, it's um casual corner. Ditch. All right. Armless, yeah. <laughs> Sleeveless is what I meant to say. <laughs> it's just a it's one of those just flat dresses, you know, that kind of like that go skin tight all the way down you kind of they really look nice on women when they wear them, so that's why I got it. I mean, every time I see somebody um, wear one of those dresses, it's like, wow, she really looks nice in that dress. <laughs> wear that armless dress. <laughs> that scarf. <laughs> oh, boy, you guys. <laughs> I know, I said armless, but <laughs> I need to take a drink. <laughs> I'd list it for a quick buck. Okay. The only problem is I don't think it'll list. I don't think it that they get lost in the 40,000. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from the bong to the drinking. Yeah. All it is is don't get excited. All it is is water. Flavored water. Um, it, um, it's navy blue, too. It's not black. And all I have is a mannequin, remember. So probably <laughs> she got it in her teapots. Um, <laughs> it, um, it'll look real good on my mannequin. All right. This is... What is this? Guess jeans. Made in USA. Waist 30, length 34. And they have the guess jeans. List them bitches. <laughs> okay. I will list them. Go. Move. Well, I'm not. God, dogs are pain in the butt. List high? Like, how high? I don't even know. What's what's high? $60? Really? Wow. Look at all this money I've been sitting on. What is wrong with me? Because I didn't look at any of it. At least forty nine ninety nine. Really? Wow. That's nice. You'll ship international. Oh, cool. All right. I'm jealous. <laughs> All right. I have a Boy Scouts of America. I was gonna just take the patches off of this and sell the patches. I've done really well because it's a little kids one. Um. But it's got. It's got patches all over it. So I was just going to um, take the patches off. Or do you think I should list it with the patches on? I mean, it's got, it's got all kinds of... Well, this is 2013. They're not vintage patches, but... List the patches. Just the patches? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'll just take all the patches off. Den 1, and then it's got the... They, I think they sell for 10 or 12 bucks. Yeah, I used to do really well. I I bought some um, some patches one time, but they were more vintagey patches. I'd list like it is because I'd never take the patches off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just list it the way it is. I sold some um, about a year and a half, two years ago. I sold some Boy Scout, but they were more vintagey Boy Scout patches, and I did really well with them. My husband, I bought a whole baggie full of them for like six bucks. And my husband's like, why'd you buy those? And I'm like, because they'll sell. And and it, and if anybody knows me, anytime my husband tells me, why'd you buy that for? It's not going to sell. It usually does. So I always love the stuff he tells me. Don't buy that. It ain't going to sell. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I thought this was kind of neat because I know like uniforms sell. Well, this is like one of those... Um, Actually, now the more I think about it, maybe it's not. It reminded me of one of those uh, a waitress dresses that people wear at 
waitressing, you know, in a diner. That's what it reminded me of. But now that I look at it, maybe it's, oh, no, it's got pockets and stuff. But it looks like one of those waitress dresses. And it's, it's got a nice cut, you know, nice form, form cut. I don't know what you call that, but it's a uh, Philip 31, 3-1 Philip something. Oh, it has a target on it. It's a target. It does, you know, and actually, after I was looking at it, it did kind of look Asian to me. But I see the targets on there, so it's a Target brand. List. Okay. Is that what that is, though? Does it look like a waitress? Or is it... Or should I list it as, like... Well, I suppose you can't just list it as Asian. <laughs> it's so ugly it will sell. I know. Looks like Philip Lim for Target. Oh, okay. L-I-M. Mandarin collar. Okay. All right. Sassy, me and you are going to have to get into a hangout or something. You have to help me with all this stuff. <laughs> Shift dress. Is that what it's called? Okay. All right. Wow, I can't believe I actually got so many winners at the... When I was looking... Because a lot of this stuff, I was, I was like depending on my daughter to help me with it. And <clears throat> most of this stuff, she told me no. So... I guess I know more than my daughter does. <laughs> All right, so this is a little purse. Wool. I suppose it could be a hat. Two. <laughs> Ooh, how's that? Yeah, I would go to hang out with you and you go to list this stuff. So fun. Um, one listed for twenty five ninety nine. Really? Wow. All right, so anyways, it's not a hat, obviously. <laughs> um, it's a purse. It's got a big button on it. It's pretty ugly. But I thought it was, <clears throat> looks Dutch to me. Um, Shriner. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a little purse. Little wool purse. <laughs> Wear it on your head and go to Walmart and meow at the cashiers, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, any tag or info? I don't know. No. No, no tags or anything in it. But it could, I suppose, it could be reversible. One sold for... One of these sold for $21.21. Wow. Looks like a bag for your bong. <laughs> wow. All right. 20 bucks it is. Sweet. Look at all this. Oh, no. $3.99. What? Look at all this money I got here. Sell on Etsy. I'd list because my hippie daughter would love. Put Festival Boho Hippie in the title. Yep. Bag for your bong and your big burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the dress. Oh, okay. Got it. Sorry. I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, this is a dish towel. This is one of those. Now, dish towels, I know. I like dish towels. Actually, I think I bought this for myself. It's one of those um, flower sack dish towels. And it's, um, and it's embroidered. I think I bought it for my, my house, actually. Is what I bought that one for was for me. It's kind of yellowed, but I think if I bleach it, it'll be okay. So I'll put that over there with my stuff. Use it or list it, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. Willow, what are you doing? Why are you climbing on my stuff, you weirdo? Get down. Sorry, guys. My dogs are worse than my kids. You know, I didn't have a dresser scarf. Yeah, it's pretty. It would be pretty on the, on the dresser. Um, my, ki my dogs are worse than my kids. I never had this many problems with my kids. <laughs> Misbehaving. These are Levi's. 
Yeah, more jeans. <laughs> um, oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> well, we got this time. I know, right? You never know what I'm going to pull out of my box. Um, scratch that. <laughs> Forget what I just said. Thank God Jason ain't in here. <laughs> Anyways, these are Levi's. Uh, 550s. <laughs> There's Tara in her, oh boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are Levi's 550s relaxed fit. Waist 33, length 30. Um, they look like they're in good shape. Nice pockets. 20 bucks. Okay. Good enough for me. 20 plus. Okay. Sounds good to me. What are you doing? Now she's just, instead of climbing all over the box, looking around, um, makes me wonder that if there's a mouse in here because she's like on hunting mode. Now she's just sitting on top of the boxes. <laughs> God. All right. So this one here is a Lane Bryant shirt. Obviously... For somebody other than me because I would not be able to fill it in. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's Lane Bryant. It's uh, 20, 26, 28. List it. Okay. Super cute. It looks shiny. It is. It's very shiny. And it's a, it's a um, I don't know what you call these sleeves. They're like not, not all the way, you know, they like, um, they're up here and then they flow down to here. I don't know how to say it. See, they're short and long, solid $20 bill. All right, cool. Guess I should go to the bins more often, huh? No, it's not a cold shoulder. It's not where... <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's not like, um, cold shoulder, I'm assuming you mean where it has the open shoulder. No, it's, I'm trying to show you here. It's, uh, I don't know what that's called. See how it, see how it's short on top, short on top, and then it goes, flows down. Come on in sleeve, kimono sleeve. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Flutter sleeve? Okay. Bell sleeve? Okay, I've heard three answers now. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. This here. Not sure why I got it. It's a JC Penney's cashmere blend medium sweater. So it's not completely cashmere. Nikki, we're just making shit up. It's all good. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, it's a um it's a button sweater. Another rug, table runner scarf, Wonder Woman cape. <laughs> Ditch. No good. Alright. That's fine with me. Ditch it. You could get 15 to 20. Really? After I just threw it in the garbage can? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think I can get 15 to 20 bucks for that? Well, 15 to 20 bucks, that's worth listing it. All right. Well, if I can reach it, I'll list it. <laughs> I hope I can reach it. All right. I got these. <clears throat> Um, they even still have their extra button. The North Face, the Cashmere Blend Career Carnigan. <laughs> I don't save all the ditch items. Depends on how it looks condition-wise. Check extra careful for any holes. Not a fancy brand, so the Cashmere Blend and cute large buttons would sell it. All right. These are North Face shorts. They're the cargo 
type of shorts. <laughs> Who knows where they go? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> actually, what I am doing, actually what I'm doing is, they are, um, they are sitting, all the ditch items are sitting over here in this garbage can, and they'll probably go into, um, boxes. I'm, I'm saving them up right now until I get enough boxes to go to the, uh, auction with. So... This is exactly why we need a burn barrel. I know. I have a burn barrel. It's just, it's dark out right now. Maybe, maybe this summer, if this, if this show lasts that long, if you guys put up with me that long, um, I can have the burn, burn barrels. Um, but right now it's dark out, so you wouldn't be able to see nothing but the fire. Anyway, so yeah, list these. These are nice, uh, the North Face. That's why I got them. I knew, I knew the North Face. I know some stuff. When it comes to clothes. I know you guys are going to have me listing like crazy. I know. Alright. I only got a couple more things. With the clothes. I think. Three, three or four more things. Okay. Hopefully you can put up with me that long. <laughs> Let's see. Just do flat lace quick and easy. Really? Okay. This is a dress. I thought the I thought the color was real pretty. But what do I know? It's like one of those um you know where the boobs hold the dress up dresses. Calvin Klein. It is a Calvin Klein. Ditch it. Yeah, I couldn't fit my big toe in this dress. <laughs> Maybe when I was in high school, but not anymore. Actually, no, this is a 10. I was a 12 in high school, so. Maybe use this Halloween costume 20 plus. Otherwise, no, huh? Huh. I thought Calvin Klein was good. Listing party on Nikki's channel tomorrow. Wear that dress with the turban scarf. <laughs> you guys want me to get arrested? <laughs> List it formal pencil dress. Calvin Klein dresses sell well. Okay. So I guess I'll list it. I thought the color was really pretty. I thought even like around, um, you know, I should have listed it like a month ago during homecoming. That was kind of like a homecoming dress. You know, semi-formal. All right. <clears throat> It'll sell for, I was just going to say, I wonder if it would sell for New Year's. Hi, Comfortable Life. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you're back. Are you okay? You went to the doctor? Everything okay with you? And you've been in the hospital. I hope you're okay. List them. These are Lee Wright. I wasn't sure about riders. Do riders... Sell Lee Riders. Is that what those are? Denim Riders, it's called. They're kind of... No idea what they even are, but... They look old. <laughs> um, they look like they're a little dingy looking. I might need to wash them if they're listable. Anyways, um, are these jeans? I don't know. This is... This is how I see all the jean people doing it. They're going like, look at the legs. <laughs> um, they got the pockets on the back. Um, I don't see a, a tag. I would sell them. All jeans sell. Having some problems... But you're a tough old rooster. You are. Okay, well, I hope everything's okay. Punch some holes in them and splatter some bleach up that price point. So do riders sell? There's no size on them. There's no tag on them. I mean, are they worth... Because they look, they look kind of dingy looking. So I wonder if maybe I should... Um, 
wonder if I should wash them. Riders do sell, but not well for me. $15 and under. They always sell for me. All right, so I'll try them for 15 bucks. Maybe I can get 10 out of them or something. Um, but like I said, you know, I got these at the bins, so, um, I didn't pay hardly anything for them. So I might as well try them, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'd probably end up screwing them up if I tried to do it. All right, two more items. Two more clothing items. You're almost done with clothing. Ooh, I got 41 people. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I appreciate it. Okay, this I thought was cool because it's kind of sporty. It's, uh, uh, well, it's Russell Training Fit. Two extra large, so that's a good thing. Lug nut! But it's, uh... I hope he's not barking at a skunk. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, 98 wrenches and no trolls. That's because I was prepared. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So this is real sporty, I thought. It's a Russell, looks like woman's to me. Long sleeve, 2X folks. Us 2X folks ain't doing much training. Yeah, no kidding, right? Um, <laughs> anyways, Russell, do you think yay or nay? 42 people and half of you have given me a thumbs up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. List for New Year's. <laughs> No, really. Um, it also says Dry Power 360 on it. It's worth 10 bucks, anyways. Really? Okay. All right. I will list it. 10 bucks plus shipping, right? I mean, if I get 10 bucks plus shipping, it's okay. If it's 10 bucks free shipping, I really don't want to list it. Because then, let's see, that's 10. Probably cost 270, say, 97. It'd be like 7 bucks, and then. Minus my, what, 50 cents to buy it. I'd only be making like $6.50 on it. Well, that's, you know, money. Where's the last thing I had to show you? Oh, right here. Let's see. It's some food, y'all. Have a fantastic night. Don't ditch any old jeans, Nikki. I got you on the jeans. Thank you, Hank. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. It's almost 8 o'clock, so I'm going to be um, hanging this up at 8 o'clock because... Valerie is having a listing night, and everybody has to get their listing done. So um, I was going to have a short night of it because of my daughter anyways. Um, she um, she was in a car accident. She's fine. She's in a car accident with our Chevy Malibu, and so um, I have to um, I have to drive her to and from work. With the size it is, it should be... You should be able to get $25. Really? Comfortable life? Cool. Thanks. All right. So these are Levi Strauss, 569, waist 32, length 34, which is a very good size because my husband is that, um, or was. He's a little bigger now, but not for Russell brand. Oh. <clears throat> Anyways, um, Levi's, 32, 34s. So that means they're men's. Made in Mexico. Levi Strauss 569s. Um, no, she won't let me ditch them. <laughs> She'll yell at you guys if you can't tell me to ditch them. No, really. So are these any good? Levi's 569. I list Levi always sells. All right. I'll list them. What kind of price point do you think? Now, this kind of stuff, I'm not just trying to get you guys to be interactive. I really honestly have no clue. I mean, like knickknacks and, and stuff like that, I kind of have an idea. But with clothes, no idea whatsoever. None. 
$24.99 free shipping. Okay. Well, that's acceptable. All right. Well, I don't have any more items. Um, my friend Valerie is having um, $20 for Levi's all day long. All right. Good. Um, my friend Valerie, the chick picker, $20 or more. Thank you, Comfortable Life. Um, she is doing a listing, uh, hanging, hanging out, <laughs> listing hangout, um, for everybody over on her channel, the chick picker. So, um, you can all go over there after this if you want to get some listing done. Um, God, I look huge in this sweatshirt. Um, I never turned down Le Levi, they sell. Cool. Um, anyways, so she's having a listing hang out over on her channel and um they may sit but they will sell cool thank you i do i am comfy i'm in shorts and my sweatshirt <laughs> i'm very comfy this is my favorite outfit <laughs> shorts and a sweatshirt or t-shirt um anyways so chick picker over on her channel she's in here say something in the chat so they can click on your um what am i doing this is listed or ditch it and we're, um, we're eBay sellers. You got orders, no computer sitting, but I had to come on here. Well, I appreciate you coming. <clears throat> and then, uh, so Valerie, like I said, if she's in here, say something in the chat so they can click. There she is. Um, go to her channel, subscribe. She has a morning show every, every morning, Monday through Friday. 8 a.m. to usually about 10 a.m., sometimes a little longer. Um, and and uh, she's right after this show, she's going to start a hangout so everybody can come in and work. And, um, and, yeah, every morning, if you can't go there now, every morning go over to her channel, subscribe. She has, like I said, she has, she's been <clears throat> doing a shipping show before it and some mornings, and then also... She has her live hangout every morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And um, and her sister is also in on it. I'm on, I'm on the show. Tara's on the show sometimes. Sassy Seller, Mama J. A lot of people are on there. So uh, Megan has come on. Uh, it's a lot of fun in the mornings. Get you woke up and raring to go for the day. And we get some work done. Sometimes we don't. Uh, <laughs> We talk about some eBay, sometimes not, you know. So come on over and uh, and go on her channel and, and subscribe. Come in and see us. All right, well, I appreciate everybody for coming in. Um, we'll be back next Wednesday with or without a guest. We'll be here one way or another. Um, and uh, gosh, Mom, we're playing with Nikki. <laughs> Anyways, um, come back every Wednesday night. From at 7 central time and we have listed or ditch it so thank you very much for coming I appreciate it and give me a thumbs up I like it when you give me a thumbs up thanks for coming bye everybody see you over on chick pickers channel <laughs>